I'm from the mine owners. They've asked me to extend their deepest sympathy yeah. and to make sure you suffer as little hardship as possible. Right. Naturally, money is of the first importance at a time like this. Is that? And the company has authorised me to hand over to you the sum of £100. I have it here in this envelope. Mrs. Seaton, uh, perhaps you'll be good enough to count it. Why, will you look at that? Can you write, Mr. Seaton? I went to school like everybody else. No, no, you misunderstand me. I mean, are you able to write in your present condition? Uh, just your signature. I think so. What do you want us to sign? A, a receipt for this money. It's rather a lot, you know. Is that? And it has to be signed for. Uh, your usual signature, Mr. Seaton, just here. You bloody ghoul. I beg your pardon? You heard me. I said ghoul, but vulture would be more like it. Who the Not hell are you? Not content with breaking his back, you want to eat up the rest of them as well. And you've got the nerve to call this a receipt. No further claims against the company. Adequate and sufficient compensation. Freely admit it was caused by my own error of judgment. You very near signed your life away, Mr. Seaton. Give him his money back. Jack, it's a hundred pounds. Give it back, Bella. Mr. Seaton, you're acting very foolish. Thank you for calling. Mr. Seaton, I think Good you ought day. to... Good day. You heard him, mister. 